Welcome to Highline BI 248 class. Hey, if you want to download this workbook file, this is BI 248 Chapter 7 Start. You can click on the link below the video. Now, we've already completed this sheet right here, quad, fixed cost, variable cost, profit. We actually added this sheet and created this whole model in last video, video number two. In this video, we want to see how to use Goal Seek. Now, I actually want to insert a new sheet, so I'm going to click on Calculate Revenue and use our keyboard Shift F11, and then double click and call this Goal Seek, and Enter. Now, I want to come over to this sheet and highlight our assumption area and our model area with our formulas, Control C, come over to Goal Seek and Control V. Now, I immediately want to come down to the Smart tag, click, and I select Keep source column width. So there I got my column widths. Control and roll. And now here's what we want to do. Here's our total profit. And obviously, we are allowed to change these inputs. So I want to figure out what the break even point is. So I come here, I'm going to type 3,000. Just like that, I get a profit much larger than break even because break even is 0. So I come down here and I try 2,100. Well, that's negative. Well, I could iterate back and forth till I zero in on a units or quantity that would give me exactly 0. Control Z, Control Z. Instead, I am going to use an awesome feature. Now, I want to um, scroll in here and talk about a feature called Goal Seek. Goal Seek will allow us to tell a formula to evaluate to a particular answer by changing a formula input. But in order to use Goal Seek, if I hit F2, that formula has to be using that formula input. Now, notice this is not directly using it. It's using total revenue, total cost. But when I come here and hit F2, you could see this formula is using the formula inputs from above and our decision variable. This one is using, oh, that one right there. This one is using, oh, the total uh, variable cost from above and our decision variable. So all of these formulas are influencing this last formula here. And there's a number of times where we're using this decision variable. As long as you have a cell that's connected either directly or indirectly to a formula input, you can use Goal Seek. Ready? We go up to Data, Data Tools, What If, and Goal Seek. The keyboard in Excel 2007 or later is Alt-A-W-G. Now, that's three letters. If you want a shorter one, if you know earlier Excel versions keyboard, that means 2003 earlier than Alt-T-G. And I like Alt-T-G because it's the old Tools menu Goal Seek. So Tools Goal Seek. Now, set cell, that has to be your formula. To value, notice that this does not have a collapse button. We cannot link it to a cell. The value you want your formula to evaluate to has to be typed in. Now, we're talking about break even here. That's when profit is exactly 0. And tab, by changing cell, that's our formula input. When I click OK, just like that, look at that. It gives me 2661 and click OK. So if I believe the demand is greater than 2661, then I would consider making the quad product. Now notice here we changed quantity. I'm going to change this back Control Z to 2000. That is not the only variable we can change, because what if we didn't think we could get demand of 2,601? Well, other potential variables we could change. If we believe that it would be OK to up the price and we could still have 2,000 sales, then watch this. We could use Goal Seek to change that formula input. Alt-TG. Automatically, I had that cell selected, so it thinks I want to change that formula, tab, to value. That's the value I want this formula to evaluate to, 0. Tab by changing, that's a formula input. And any one of these could be OK. I'm going to click that one and click OK. So 1871, when I click OK, if that was an acceptable price, then we could use that as our price 
or more to get above our break even point. Now I'm going to control Z and leave the original 1650 and the original 2000. Goal seek incredibly useful as long as you have a formula with formula inputs. You want to say what the formula should evaluate to and goal seek will change that formula input. Now in two videos ahead we're going to do data tables which takes goal seek to another level. But when we come back in our next video I want to do a brief video on the formula for break even number of units. All right, we'll see you next video.